welcome to channel maths magic today we are going to discuss one of the important question based on arithmetic sequences question is on the screen it says a luxury car manufacturer sets up a factory for a new model in the first month only five cars are produced after this 30 car 13 cars are assembled every month so you have to read the question very carefully it says in first five first month only five cars are produced so let's underline important information in first month only five cars are produced after this 13 cars are assembled every month so it says list the total number of cars that have been made in the factory by the end of each of the first six months so we have to list the number of car produced at the end of each month till 6 month so I'm on okay so we are answering this part A so I'll use M for month so this is for at the end of month 1 so as all question is already saying that 5 cars are produced at the end of first month so M1 is going to be 5 cars only right now at the end of month 2 as you know that 13 cars are added at the end of each next month so it's going to be 5 plus 13 so it's 18 now these are 18 cars now at the end of third month so it will be 13 more from the previous month so it was 5 plus 13 plus 13 so over here we are having at the end of third month it's a 31 cars now at the end of fourth month so it's going to be 31 plus 13 again so it's a 44 cars and at the end of fifth month is a 44 plus 13 so it's a 57 cars and then at the end of six month it's a 57 plus 13 which is 70 cars okay over here i have added 31 on the fourth month i started adding 31 plus 13 why i did so because you know that uh, as you will keep adding 13 to the next month what will happen it's basically uh, increase in previous result by 13 so i'm directly adding 13 to the previous total so we don't need to write every time 5 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 so on so i directly wrote over here 31 from the third month plus 13 for the next month and again for the fifth month i use this result 44 from the all the previous results plus 13 so this is how it's happening so at the end of each month we have this total number of car produced on the first month it's at the end of month fifth car at the end of second month 18 car then 31 car then 44 car then 57 car and then finally 70 cars this is what is the answer for part a now in next part question is asking explain why the total number of cars made after n months forms an arithmetic sequence so you know the simple logic so if you write all these results as a sequence so now we are answering part b so let's write this part b over here okay so let's note the numbers in sequence so it's a 5 then 18 and then 31 then 44 and then 57 
and then 70 and so on so as you have seen that each next term is increased from the previous term by 13 so this pattern is increasing with constant difference of positive 13 therefore we can say that this pattern is arithmetic so very simple logic over here because we are having constant difference or common difference of 13 so this is the answer for part b now it says how many cars are made in the first year now we have to find number of cars made in the first year so let's answer that how many cars are made in the first year so let me clear this so that i can write all these results to answer all these questions so first of all i'll write few information for part c which will be arithmetic sequence so we are having first term as 5 and then common difference as 13 and now we are talking about number of cars produced in the first year how many cars are made in the first year so we are having n as 12 so let's use the same pattern and find the answer we know to find the like as you are talking about at the, uh, like on the first year so basically you are saying that it's a this is six month then seven month eighth month ninth month 10th 11th and 12th so what will be the number of car produced over here right so we are having n as 12 so use the general formula for the arithmetic sequence and we can answer this question easily so let's use the formula you remember it was u n is equal to u n is equal to u 1 plus n minus 1 into d so u n is equal to u 1 plus n minus 1 into d okay so over here we are having u 1 as 5 and n is 12 and d is 13 so let's simplify this it's a 5 and then it's 12 minus 1 11 and it's a 13 so now multiply so 11 into 13 is 143 and plus 5 so it's a 148 so number of cars produced on the 12th month or basically at the end of this year or the number of cars made in the first year is 148 okay over here you have to understood one thing that they are not asking over here number of total car produced during entire year so basically this question is asking you the number of cars produced at the end of 12th month right so you don't need to sum up all the numbers produced from first month to 12th month so usually this is the confusion with the student so you have to avoid this this question is asking you number of cars produced on that particular month so now it says how long is it until the 250th car is manufactured so in which month the company can produce 250 250th car so over here we are already having u n is equal to 250 <clears throat> so we have to find the so number of months it will take to produce 250th car so let's write important information again so we are having now we are answering part d 
so u1 is again 5 and then d is 13 and we are looking for n and over here we are having un is 250 and our target is to find n so let's use a general, general form again un is equal to u1 plus n minus 1 into d so let's replace everything so un over here is 250 and u1 is 5 we have to find n so d is 13 okay let's simplify this so we can do 250 minus 5 then n minus 1 into 13 so it's 245 and then we can divide this by 13 so n minus 1 is equal to 245 over 13 so let's divide 245 by 13 so if you divide 245 by 13 you'll get approximately uh, okay it's 18.8 18 point eight eighteen point eight approximately and then n minus one okay so let me write this over here we are having eighteen point eight is equal to n minus one therefore n is equal to eighteen point eight plus one is equal to n so approximately you can see it's 19.8 months it will take to manufacture the 250th car so basically you can say that he will produce the car on 20th month right because we are having 19.8 so 19.8 is 19 month is complete 20th month is going on right so will the company will produce the 250th item or 250th car on the month 20th month basically so our answer for part d is going to be n is equal to 20 or you can say 20 months so answer for this part is going to be 20 months hope it's clear if still you have any doubts let me know i'll get back to you for sure thank you for watching